During the pandemic, most people learned about the pandemic through a variety of social media platforms, and developed the habits of relying on social media to learn new things. However, social media can also spread lies, including miraculous persecutions, false statements about the im- imposition of martial law, conspiracy theories, and so on. As a result, some people may be misled by social media's excessive. Exaggeration of the truth and have a false perception of the pandemic. The main purpose of this video is to. Study how information on social media platforms can become excessive and misleading during a pandemic. At a time when many of us are struggling to get as much information as possible, the public is particularly. Vulnerable to false and dangerous claims that can be pa- passed on to others. According to a new Pew Research Center report, about half of Americans said they have been seeing a fake news story about the coronavirus. I have been seeing a lot of people on Instagram and WeChat post pictures of themselves making panic pantheses, such as sewing, showing toilet paper filled to the brim, frozen food, and so on. And people posting pictures of empty shelves online. This can lead many people to read those messages and worried about they cannot keep up with demand, so they start overbuying household goods, products, and food. No platform is perfect, so we should develop the ability to distinguish accurate information from rumors and have a full understanding of the pandemic situation.